The pursuit of new records is the lifeblood of professional sports, but outstanding athletic performances sometimes leave a bitter taste due to the numerous doping scandals in recent years. Experts believe gene doping to be a particularly serious problem. As the WADA, the World Anti-Doping Agency, defines it, gene doping is every technique which affects the expression of genes. And this includes the introduction of synthetic DNA and DNA material, and also the manipulation of the expression of endogenous genes. Experts like Professor Diehl are particularly worried about the latter possibility. But to date, suitable techniques to detect such abuse are missing. The development of new tests is a race against the offenders. Professor Deal's team, for instance, is developing a test that will detect specific manipulations of gene regulation to stimulate muscle growth. Our test now seems to be ready to detect one specific uh, possibility to inhibit myostatin. It's, in our view, a very relevant one because one of the most developed drugs in this field is based on this concept, and so we I think we could detect this uh, strategy to abuse myostatin in, uh, inhibition, but unfortunately in the moment we have tested it only in animals and not in humans, so the World Anti-Doping Agency uh, in the moment will not introduce it, this test for human um, doping analyzers. A working group headed by Professor Kurana from the University of Pennsylvania and with help from Dr. Gabriel Willmann is taking a different approach. Their fight against sports fraud has already taken the scientists to the death zone on Mount Everest. They took along a box of eight mice to learn more about the production of EPO and the behavior of red blood cells under hypoxic conditions. The primary goal um, in our current research is to develop a test for hypoxia-inducible gene doping. So our test will be able to differentiate um, three hypoxic conditions, one first being high altitude exposure, the second uh, normal baric hypoxia in a chamber, and the third uh, gene doping uh, induced hypoxia. Wilmann and his colleagues are close to reaching their goal too. Their most powerful weapons in fighting doping offenders are cutting edge technologies that offer great insights into the molecular building blocks of life. Kyogen has been supporting the researchers' efforts for years, in part because the resulting insights can be valuable in other areas as well. Well, molecular technologies actually are more and more common in uh, our daily life, meaning food safety testing, as well as forensic analysis, as well as veterinary diagnostics. So you can imagine that molecular technologies tomorrow, and already today, are being applied in doping testing. So we're working with scientists very closely in order to support them developing these methodologies, utilizing molecular technologies, and therefore apply benefit to the overall global population. The World Anti-Doping Agency, WADA, already started its fight against gene doping 10 years ago. Since then, scientists have been working non-stop to develop new tests to detect gene doping, hoping to identify the offenders one day. And for once, time is working in their favor, since today's samples will be preserved for many years to come. Kyogen, making improvements in life possible. <laughs>